Hey guys, it's Baby Kendall here from Past Use By, and welcome to a brand new Clash of Clans video where today we are going to be talking about 13 reasons that you are a tryhard at Clash of Clans. And this is not meant to offend anyone, but simply meant to poke some fun at all of us who love this game so much that we, uh, I guess, try hard at it. So let's get right into it with number one. You spend more time on YouTube or forums than actually playing the game. So I know this is true for a lot of people, probably even for me as well, that, you know, I'm watching all these YouTube videos on Clash of Clans, I'm going on the Supercell forums or Reddit, whatever, you know, posting and all that stuff, and I'm actually spending more time on these sites than actually playing Clash of Clans. Like, you know, I log on, I play a bit, I get my daily loot for the builder base, you know, maybe do a few attacks, check the war, stuff like that, but not much else. And the really, for me, the fun part of Clash of Clans is actually watching YouTube, going on the forums, talking with other players. That's personally for me, and uh, it may be true for many other people as well. All right, let's move on to number two, which is more than half of your YouTube subscriptions are to COC YouTubers. So uh, probably this is true for me, true for a ton of you as well, where if you go into your YouTube subscriptions, uh, you scroll through the uh, all the videos, like over half of them are just Clash of Clans videos from, you know, Clash with Cam, Mystic7, you know, whoever posts these Clash of Clans videos. And, um, you know, this shows that we are so committed to the game that we're not only we're playing the game, but we are also watching tons of YouTube on Clash of Clans uh, outside of the game. All right, let's move on to number three, which is you never forget when the war starts or ends. Definitely true for me and for all of you war players, probably true for you as well, where you're literally always memorizing when the war starts and when the war ends. You know, you have that in your head, you maybe even like set a timer or something on your phone uh, to just, you know, always know uh, when to get your attacks in. So like, I'll be like, all right, so the war starts at, you know, what, 10 p.m. tonight. So, you know, I'll, I'll plan when I'll be able to do my war attacks. That's how important wars are to me. And um, I guess I'm a tryhard at that. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Number four is COC is on the dock of your phone. So. Uh, if you have an iPhone, you know about the dock at the bottom of your home screen um, you know, on Android. I'm pretty sure there's something similar, but if you have Clash of Clans like on the first thing right there, it's just so important to you, you check it so much that it's on your dock. That's showing something about how committed you are to the game, how hard you are trying in Clash of Clans. And um, it, I mean, this is probably true for a lot of us. I know for me though, I don't have it in the dock, but if you do, um, it definitely shows that you're taking one step further for Clash of Clans. All right, number five, you plan your base upgrades weeks in advance. Uh, so I know this was true of me when I was actually, you know, upgrading my base. Now I'm just a max Town Hall 9, but before I'd be like, all right, so, you know, I'm going to upgrade this cannon and then like once this is done, I'm going to upgrade this Archer Tower. Then once that's done, I'm going to upgrade this other Archer Tower. You no, know, I just plan upgrades so far in advance, even though this cannon will take like two weeks to upgrade. I'm still planning ahead of that. You know, what will I do after that? Um, what will I use my available builders for? All that stuff. And uh, I just, you know, want to plan out my base. And it's just so important to me, I guess, to, you know, maximize efficiency in my Clash of Clans base so I can max out as fast as possible. Now tell me if this is true of you as well. Number six is you do the math of how many raids you need to get this certain upgrade done. So let's say you want to upgrade that cannon today and you don't have enough loot. You will literally go ahead and do the math for how many raids you need until you get enough loot. So you'll calculate the average amount of loot that you're getting per attack, factor in the loot bonus, factor in uh, the training troop cost time, factor in the searching time and uh, cost and all that stuff. And you're going to put it all into this huge math equation, solve it in your head or calculator or whatever. But uh, either way, you're doing the math of how long and how much it'll take to get that upgrade done. Shows the commitment to this game. Number seven is you have COC installed on every single device that you have, including your computer. So if you have a computer and you know about Bluestacks, um, a lot of you probably use Bluestacks perhaps to play Clash of Clans, but if you have 
and Clash of Clans on all your devices, your iPad, your iPhone, your Android device, your mom's iPad, your dad's iPad, your brother's iPad, uh, your computer, your family computer, you know, all these devices all have Clash of Clans installed. Um, and you're like actually using it on all these devices or even if you aren't using it on all these devices You just still have it installed, you know, just in case or whatever Show something uh, we are, just, you know, just trying so hard to play Clash of Clans um, Playing so much on all these devices Number eight, uh, this is a pretty funny one uh, more like a joke But if you actually listen to the Clash of Clans theme song if you have it like installed on iTunes or something like that, or installed on like Spotify, you know, I uh, that that's saying a lot. I don't know many people that do that. I don't, but um, you know, if you are that committed to the game that you're literally listening to the theme song, which by the way is like uh, such crappy music, just to be honest, uh, they gotta change that music. But anyways, if you're listening to that stuff shows your commitment to the game, and you may be a tryhard. Number nine is you memorize all the tips that are available on the loading screen. So every single time you open Clash of Clans, there's, uh, you know, that little loading bar at the bottom. And then there's a tip underneath. If you find that whenever you read the tip that, oh, you know, I already saw this tip before. And you basically memorize all the tips that are there. Uh, I guess you're paying attention is one thing. Or you're just a tryhard at the game. All right, let's move on to number 10, which is you spend uh, a lot of time simply just admiring your base. So, you know, you're just sitting there cl with Clash of Clans open. Uh, you're looking at your base, you're zooming in and out on all your what, like max defenses or whatever, not actually doing any attacks, not even like doing anything or chatting at all. You're just sitting there like, wow, you know, look at this level 10 wall. Look at all these level 10 walls, my level 40 heroes, you know, whatever. Uh, you, you were just spending so much time looking at that in awe, like, wow. And not actually playing the game shows your commitment and you may be a try hard. All right, let's move on to number 11, which is you make every single upgrade a super, super dramatic moment. So even if you're getting you know, that spring trap upgraded, you make it such a big moment. You're like, hey. Uh, in the clan chat, you're like, hey guys, uh, I'm finally upgrading my spring trap to level two, let's go! And, you know, you're making a huge dramatic moment with like a drum roll, with like dramatic music, and you're clicking the button slowly, you're like, three, two, one, and you click the button, like, ah, oh, there we go, that's a spring trap to level two. Like, really? Uh, if you do that, I mean, I guess you, you really like the game, or you just like your spring traps, whatever it may be. All right, number 12 is you actually get mad in real life if you lose an attack. Um, probably true of me, at least sometimes, maybe true of you as well, but when I like fail an attack really badly, especially in wars or when I'm trophy pushing, uh, I can get pissed and not just in the game, like I'll always just X out of the game, but sometimes I just get like ticked off in real life or at the very least my temper just goes up. Um, so. You know, I guess there's that connection there between just a game and uh, our real lives, which uh, does show something about our commitment. All right, let's move on to number 13, the very last one of today, which is you make Clash of Clans YouTube videos. So I guess that shows that I'm a try hard right here. I mean, obviously, so many of these things were true for me anyways. But uh, yeah, I mean, if we love the game so much that we are going on YouTube, not only watching other people, make videos on Clash of Clans, but also making the videos ourselves. I know a lot of you guys are YouTubers as well, so uh, kudos to you guys for that. But um, it, it's a good thing. Don't get this term as like, oh, I don't want to be a tryhard. It's actually very good to be a tryhard. Uh, maybe not at Clash of Clans because, you know, just a game. But, you know, in real life, if you are a tryhard at something, it just shows your commitment. It shows uh, how dedicated you are. And uh, ultimately, you will be more successful if you are, I guess, a tryhard. Just that no one likes to use that term because it's just sort of like a bad thing that you know you're going extra and all that. But fundamentally, trying hard at something is definitely not a bad thing. So I'm proud to be a YouTuber, proud to be able to make videos for you guys, for all of you guys that love Clash of Clans too. I encourage you guys to become a YouTuber, even though uh, you know it's hard at the beginning, uh, even though. Um, you know, it's hard gaining an audience. It's much, much worth it. At the very least, you're having fun playing your favorite game. 
So yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Those were 13 things that make you a try hard in Clash of Clans. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to smack that like button. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel for more Clash of Clans content. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.